Hey folks, it's Ridgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Satisfactory. Right, that's fine. That's all fine on there. So now I want to come out from here and I want to take a power line from there. And I want to bring the power line over here, don't I? So you got to come down onto there like that. And then... Right. Let's stand up on here a minute. Where am I going to take this power line? I, I would say probably we go down there like that. And then... Up there, like that. Right. Let's go... Up round the top up there so that we can go and put the next bit. I love this thing. This thing is so awesome. Really is. You Decent speed. I and mean, everything about this is a wonderful, wonderful beastie, isn't it? Um... Where's... Oh, there, there there it is. That's what I was looking for. Need the line. That one will go over... Wire is too long, so let's do it down to there somewhere. And then I can run... Up there somewhere like that. Back into this one. Drive on a bit up here. I love the... It's the suspension on the thing. It's so cool, isn't it? Like, the, the suspension is just half... Well, it's three quarters of what makes this beast. It really is. Okay, I'll drop you over to there. I'll put some power up onto that one like that. I am going to go over here and just take a look at it. We've got 60 per minute that will come out of here. I can run in some of these. Ramp that up like that. That is now 150 per minute coming out of here, which is not a huge amount. It's definitely um, not enough to flood that one. It is, that is for certain sure. It's not going to be flooding anything on there. Now we'll go and grab you. Head back over this way. Can I get up onto there? I don't know. I might be able to do it if I, if I if I sort of go sideways like this. I may get up. You know what? See, I try and um, use the space bar as well and see if that does anything. Doesn't seem to be wanting to work. It doesn't look like I'm getting up onto there. That's just to stop dead. All right, let's back up a bit. Let's see if we can do it like this. Here we go. I got a jump there that will go over and... Ah! Oh! oh, nice! Okay, we did it. We did it. We, we just, just, it just needed a little bit of a twitch in any direction. <laughs> it's, and that was fine. Right, now I want to I wanna bring this one round. I want to see if uh, what it's going to do with that ramp. Because we've got the ramp there. I've gone and put mud all over my nice clean floor here. Mud everywhere. Yeah, that was a bit underwhelming, wasn't it? And so was that. Right. Well, I don't need this one anymore, so we'll dismantle you again. We've had fun. It's, it's, it's been oodles of fun, but honestly, you are now surplus to requirements, so I'm going to go and do something else. Oh, you know, I, I do want it again. It's just that I'm going to want it up the top, up there. There, that's what I want to do. I want to get that one to there. Then I need to get up on top of this cliff. So I'm going to run over this way. I'll get the car out once I get up the top. i got to get up there first. I suppose I could switch over to the jetpack and use that one, couldn't I? That would definitely make more sense. But I'm doing it this way now and I'm stubborn and I want to see if I can do it. There. You see my problem? My problem is that I'm my own worst enemy. Right. Where is... Oh, there it is. Bring you up there like that, and I'll leave you up there, and then you can go over onto that bit, and you can go straight up onto there. Okay, now, if I run into this one, this gives me 240 per minute. So if I ramp this one up, I'm going to get an obscene amount of stuff coming out of this. This, this is the pure node, isn't it? Right, 240 a minute. 600 per minute coming out of here. 
Ladies and gentlemen, 600 per minute for a pure node of limestone. It's considerably better than the impure node that we've got over this side. Let's jump down there. And I'm wondering if it's really worth what I'm using on this. Like, 150 a minute. I'm using up three of those. You know, I've only got three left. I'm thinking I might whip those out, actually, because that, that 150 a minute. Uh, uh, am I going to be using... I'll leave them there for a minute. We can always come back. We can get them later. Like, if, if I decide that later on, yes, I, I don't want to do that anymore, then, yeah, that's fine. So I've got that one, and then I've got that one coming up, and I've also got that one coming down. So we've got three lots of ore all coming into this point right here. That will be the full thing in there. So now I can go to the constructor, and we need to be using this limestone to start making our new limestone production facility. So for this one, I'm going to have the limestone going down the middle and I will gather up the things down the outside edge. So this is where the middle is. It's running down through. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a conveyor splitter. I'm going to run that one out to uh, about there. And then I'm going to take a... Con uh, not a conveyor. I'm going to take a constructor. And that one's going to go there. I can bring that back a little bit. So I can put one there. And then I can take it here and... How close is that? Right, if I put that onto... I don't know. Might need to move that conveyor belt over there. This, this... I'm not entirely happy with the placement of this. I haven't got a lot of space there for a start between here and the merger. And I definitely don't have enough... Oh, I might have enough room for a merger out the other side. Uh, this is a splitter on this side. I might have enough room. Okay. Bring that one to there. Swivel you around and move you out. Now, is that the same gap? I believe it is. I believe I'm onto something there. You into there. You into there. Right, I am onto something with that one. And now I can go up onto here. I need to climb up this way like this. And really? I can't get onto the end of it there. Why does this thing have to be so difficult sometimes? Right, it, it, it definitely does. Like the, the, the models, that some of them, they do make themselves rather tricky to, to, to manage. So this one here is the merger, and I've actually got loads of room for that. I don't want to put it there. I don't want to put it there. But if I drop it out there, that is... I could even go further out, but no. If I drop it there, that should be plenty of space to make the connection. I don't need that connection. I'll take that connection. Right, there's plenty of room going out there, so I don't need any more than that out that side. Let's have a look at this. I've got that much, roughly, so then I can come over to here. And that's going to be the same right there, and that is also heading in the right direction as well. So then I can go like that, and I can go there, and I can go to there. Okay. That's that bit. That's split out between the two. I can go with this belt here like that and that belt there so it's slightly slower that belt it doesn't need to be any faster than that the only time we want the fast belt is running down through the middle then I can take the fast belt here and I can run that one into there I'm not going to do that yet I'm going to start setting up the constructors so we're going to run down through and we're going to put a line of these uh, I'll run down to the end there I don't know how many that's going to be but uh, however many that is that's how many we're going to make for now whether I go for more later on I have no idea same as usual really we just kind of play it by ear drop that one into there Except that that is facing the wrong way around. So let's go back to there. Go to a constructor and flip. Put that one there. 
Like that. You know, I'm just going to have to run along the ground. I don't like doing it from the ground. I like to be able to be up in the air. You can see a lot better when you're in the air. It does make life a lot easier. And then you to there. And finally that one to there. And then I've run out of room. I can put it there, but it suspends it up in the middle of the air. So I don't want to do that. I don't want suspended ones. We have no floating machines in this factory. We might have floating floors, but we're not having floating machines. That is just... That's, that's just too much. That's, that's too far away from realism for my tastes. Put you. And that one. Two more, I think. Yeah. One there, and... One there like that. Right, how many we got then? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we got 14 constructors running down through here. I'm going to actually program them now. I think concrete. We've only got the one recipe, haven't we? You know what? Before we start, is there any alternate recipes for concrete? Like, are there any around that maybe we haven't seen yet? Um, because if there is, if, if there's an alternate recipe for concrete somewhere, and maybe that's what we've got waiting up there on one of those hard drives, that would be epically cool, I think. Epically, epically cool. Probably there won't be, but, I mean, it, it, it's a nice thought, isn't it? I can't use these belts to, like, propel myself along. Doesn't seem to work very well. Oh, well. Um... Down here and into oops, steady, into here. Right, the ma'am. Is there a con? There is not a concrete. We've got in ooh, enriched coal. A uh, different recipe for a stator. I've got yet another um, reinforced iron plate. There's yet another recipe for those. Twenty-four screws, ten. That makes seven per minute. This enriched coal. What is enriched coal? Compacted coal. A much more efficient alternative for coal. Used as f uh, fuel for vehicles and coal generators. So what does that take? That takes... Ah. Where's well, a use for it there. That is for... So enriched coal used as fuel for vehicles and coal generators. So it's not able to be used for um, other fuel though, is it? Uh, you know what? I'm going to take that one anyway. I think that's the one we're going to go for. Enriched coal. I like the idea of that. It seems like it would be a pretty useful thing. There's only the supercomputers now, and I'm not ready to do those. Okay, so there isn't an alternative recipe over this way for our wonderful, wonderful new stuff that we're going to be laying down. So we will go back all the way over to there, and we will start making... We're going to put recipes in for concrete over on that bit. Take a look at the work we've done here. We've got foundries over there. We've got steel. We've got pipes all being made. We've got crystals. We've got iron. We've got rods. We've got... we got everything that money could possibly want. Smashing sideways face first into that down there is apparently bad for our health. Who'd have thought? Who'd have thunk it? Let's go up into here. And so this is going to be concrete production all the way down through. So I want to go to there and I want to go to concrete. So at the moment we don't have any alternatives for concrete. We've just got to do concrete. So where are we? I want to go to that one. There we go. Concrete. There. That one. And that one right there. Okay, so I've now got concrete configured on all of them. Next up, I can come down through here and I can put conveyor splitters is what I want. There, like that. Same as that one. And you need to go that way, like that. There. And then you. This is a nice easy bit, this is. Put in these in. And I go like that. Oop, there. And two more. One there. And one there. Right. That's that bit. Then I want to go for conveyor belt mark three into... Oops. These sides in here like this. So that one. That one in there. 
that one over there and that one into there then the conveyor belt mark 4 is going to run through here like this so that it will actually feed into these bad boys and that will run everything that should run all the materials that we need all the way down through so then I can go back to the Mark III belt into there and that side, there, that one, you into there. Okay. So all the belts. That is indeed all of the belts all the way down through, apart from the connection that I need to do on here. So that's going to be not the conveyor, that's going to be that one. Going to go into there like that. Wait a minute. It's going that way. It's going that way. It's going the wrong way. What's going on here? That is going the wrong way, isn't it? It's not just me. Let me remove that one. No, that, 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 that does go in. Right, that's, that's going the right way. That, I see. Right, that one there is wrong. Okay, you're the wrong way round. I can just hoik those two out a minute. And I want to go back to... I didn't think it was wrong. I mean, every chance that it was wrong. I'm usually pretty good at messing these things up. So... There, we can put that one in. That one is now going the right way. And then that one can go into there like that. And you can go into there like that. Then I can go over here. That's going to be going the right way. I'm not going to set that going yet. Because what I'd like to do is I'd like to get the entire thing built now. So I need now a conveyor merger. I need to put mergers all the way down here. Like that. And then another one there. Down there, and one right there, like that. So then we will take these standard belts out here, the conveyor belt marked for this one's in the wrong place. This is unacceptable behavior, this is. We cannot have them in the wrong place. That's also in, the, the, it's just the wrong way round, that one is, I think. Or was it? I'm not actually sure. Uh... No, that is right. Okay, so then... Why is it coming up like that? That's the second time I've done that. Oh. Because I didn't actually have the lines coming up. Right, okay, that's fine. And now the confusion has abated. Sort of. We can start putting these in through here like this. And then we've got to go back down through and put the fast belts in on the other bits. They only need a sort of slowish belt going out from the main feed onto it and then they come out to here and then we switch over to the super fast belts to do this bit down here like this. Go there and there. Like that. All the way down through and then into there. Okay, so that bit comes out to there. I will put a container down here, and I'm going to try and line this container up down the bottom, straight in line with that bit at the bottom there, and then I'm going to have both the belts feeding out and into it, and... Oh, no, 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 maybe we should have two... Should we have two? How much concrete am I going to want down here? I mean, it's, it's very quick and easy to make concrete. We've already found that. I, I can make tons and tons of concrete in no time at all. And turn it around that way. So you right here, that's line. I don't want to line that up in the middle. I want to bring. I'm, I'm going to bring this one over here. Right, there's one of them. Can go there like that, and then I got another one down over this side that I need to. I need to set this. Let's go down through and set all of this first, and then we'll get the storage. I'm thinking something pretty epic for storage this time. I don't usually go for massively epic. But I'm thinking this time we go for massively epic. Just because. Why not? Why shouldn't we go for a massively epic quantity of materials? Instead of one container, let's go for like eight containers down here. All full of concrete. That way we're never going to run out. 
are we? Because, I mean, th that is one thing that we do do. We do seem to use up a lot of concrete. So if we've got things set so that we don't ever actually run out, that's, that's, that's going to be a good thing, surely. I think it's going to be a good thing. I think it's going to be a wonderful thing. But then it's my idea, so I probably am slightly biased towards said idea. Let's go there. Conveyor belt mark four. Bring the mark four down that side. There, and again. There. And that one in there. Right, so now I can go this side and I can go for another industrial storage. That's the way that we want to put it. It's got to go like that. There, that is center. And it's also lined up with the other one. Now, how many of these can I put in? First up, I'm going to squeeze one in over that side, and then I'm going to squeeze another one in over this side. I'm going to put one there, and I'm going to put one there. Now, I can put another one right in the middle. I'm not going to, though. I've got room for... i got four more of these that I can put in. Right? Another four. One, two, three... Four. I've got ten of these containers. I, I'd like to put more. I, I need more of the concrete stuff anyway. So we're going to have six containers on each side of this thing. This this is epic. This is this is a truly epic build that we're making here. We're going to have more concrete than God Himself. It is going to be wonderful. It is going to be absolutely amazing. It's going to be more concrete than anyone has ever had in the history of this game. And this is where people say, well, hang on a minute. Actually, um, I've got 37 of those containers all full of concrete. And I use three concrete every minute. Yeah. I'm, I'm aware that those numbers don't quite match up. I am aware. Right, let's go along here. And I love how fast you can go with this. And launch off of there like that. Okay, that's brilliant. Then we can go back in here. Industrial storage. There's another one. There's another... <laughs> Look at this! Should we go higher? Should we do it again? Should we have nine on each side? That is a little excessive. Nine on each side is a little bit excessive. That's why I'm going to do it. Because it's excessive. One, two, three. One, two, three. There. Excessive quantities of concrete storage at your service. Oh, that is a thing of beauty. Now I've got to actually get the concrete going into it, and that's going to be slightly more tricky. So we're going to go along here. We're going to need to take a belt that is going to go to each side, aren't we? So we're going to... Well, we're definitely going to need this kind of belt. Uh, conveyor pole. We need a conveyor pole to start with. So let's bring... You know what? No, we don't want a conveyor pole to start with. I want to bring a conveyor splitter. There. I want a conveyor splitter. Now that one is going to go there. And I also need it to line up there like that. So if I put that one there, that lines up perfectly. So there's one of them. And then I'm going to go out here. And there's another conveyor splitter. And there's going to be the final one is going to go there. So we're going to put one there. And we're going to put one there like that. Now... The only problem I've got is I don't think we can put a belt in between these. And also, I don't know that I've got those the right way around. So look, uh, I want to go for that one. That one goes... It does go all right. You've just got to get the angle right. See, I go like that, and I go like that, and it does go in between them. And then that one... <gasps> no! Oh, wait. It did. No, it didn't. That one's wrong. No, it's not. Orange is out. That's it. Orange is in. What have I what have I done? What have I what have I done? Conveyor splitter. Oops. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> right. Um, so, you right here, I've got, it goes in on that side, but no, that's, that's a split, uh, 
I know what I did. I just need to remove this one right here. Which means I also need to remove that little bit there. Then I want to go back to a conveyor splitter. So I do want a conveyor splitter. It's just that I want that bit to go that way. And that will split in the right direction now. There. So you need to go from there in... No, that's wrong. Move that one out. Conveyor splitter. Stand up on top of here. That's where it's got to go. And then I can go down into here. You go that way. And into there. Okay. So that bit splits correctly into there. But next, I've got to split this into three parts to be able to move up and down on this. Right? That's going to be the next slightly tricky thing. Except that I don't need to. Okay? I've got an idea, I think, for how I can make this work. This one here will come out, and it's going to go down into there. That one's going to go down into there. And then this one over here is going to go down into there. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move over this side. I'm not going to do anything there yet. I'm going to take more of these, and this time I'm going to turn them round. Okay, this is... No, that's mergers. I need splitters got to be splitters so that one will go there i got which way are you going splitter to go there like that and you need to go that way and then you need to go that way like that so i, I can do that bit now can i do this next bit. I need to go over here. Drop down. I need to go from there. I need to go into there. That fits. Okay, I can do that bit over to there. Like that. And then over here I can go conveyor belt into there. So I know that those bits fit. That's fine. The big question is whether this idea that I've got will work out here. It's got to come out of that bottom one and into that top one. It should, in theory, be just fine. We go to logistics. We go to conveyor lift. I put the lift onto there. Unfortunately, it doesn't work. It's not high enough. I mean, not that it would be anyway, because that's quite low down. Okay. You're going. We've, we've got new plans now. New things are going to be happening here. So we remove those, and then I take out this one, and I go with the, you know, I go back over there like that, and then I go to the conveyor lift, Mark Four, and I put that one on, and that one will go up, All right? And I move over here, so that one's going to about there. I want to get it roughly level with that height. Doesn't matter if it's, is that that is going to be a little bit too high, I think. Bringing that one off of there. Right, I just... If I go... Wait, uh, there, like that. Let's see. Oh, no. That's dead on the right height, that is. That's absolutely spot on perfect. Okay, that's good. Then I can come down here, and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these. Like this. Conveyor lift. And I'm going to drop it onto there, and I'm going to bring that one up. And I'm going to put that so it is the same height. Is that the same height? Yes. That is indeed the same height. Unfortunately, this isn't quite going to work how I was hoping because I wanted that one to join in. I want to be able to put the conveyor belt from there onto that one. It's not going to let me. I can, oh, I can... I can actually put a foot up onto that one, which I didn't expect. Ooh. And there we have it, folks. I'm afraid I'm going to have to stop things now because we have run out of time. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.